Hello friends, welcome to see astrology. So today, as I told you in the last video, I am going to discuss about Jeeva Karaka Jupiter. In this video, I am going to take Lagna also because when you go into higher uh, advanced techniques of Brigunandi Nadi, then in that we take Lagna also into consideration for some predictions and some other events of the native. So before I begin my video, I pray to Lord Ganesha and Lord Shanidev, help us learn this divine knowledge. So anyone who is interested in attending my free webinars, I have free webinars on every Saturday at 8 p.m. onwards and the language is Hindi and the webinars on webinars are on Zoom. Recordings are also provided. Those who are interested can WhatsApp me on my number. The number would be displayed on the screen. So let's begin our video. Nadi Astrology. Today we are going to discuss about Jupiter. As you know, Jupiter is the Jiva Karaka, and wherever Jupiter is placed in your birth chart in any particular house, the main focus of that native in his life would be related to the significations of that house. I'll give you a few examples. I'll give, I'll explain you one by one and give you like one or two uh, predictions also pertaining to each house. So for that we take Lagna into consideration. So first, I'm not writing any Rashi over here because if we take Rashi into consideration then the predictions of Jupiter will change but I am just taking a general view of the chart how you can analyze a chart and give predictions related to Jupiter let's say if a person born in any Lagna there can be any sign written over here it can be number one number two number three we are not concerned about the sign at present we are only concerned about Jupiter so if a person is born with Jupiter placed in his Lagna so this is called the ascendant or in other words Lagna lot of softwares it is written ascendant ascendant means Lagna itself so if Jupiter is placed in Lagna you can easily predict about that native that Jeeva Karak Jupiter is placed in Lagna means the person will focus on himself he will be more inclined on himself in his life he will be very selfish person so if Jeeva Karak is placed in Lagna that means the person mainly focuses on himself only and he is a very selfish kind of person second if Jupiter is placed in the second house so those who are new to Brigunandi Nadi and they don't know about houses let me explain you one by one this is the first house this is the second house third house fourth house fifth house sixth house seventh house eighth house ninth house tenth house eleventh house twelfth house it's very simple and easy method you can find in any book about the houses so if Jeeva Karak Jupiter is placed in second house irrespective of signs, I am not using signs here. So the main focus of that native in his life would be on money. He will be a money minded person. He will be always concerned about his bank balance, his savings, how to earn money and main focus would be on money part. Second house, second, uh, second house denotes uh, second house denotes a lot of significations but I am taking only one or two significations into consideration. Third, if Jupiter is placed in the third house, any chart male or female it doesn't matter. Jupiter is the Jeeva Karaka for both male and uh, for both male and female but additional Jeeva Karaka is Venus also for females but Prime Jeeva Karaka is Jupiter only. So if Jupiter is placed in the third house in any birth chart, that means that person is a very communicative person. He likes to be with his friends. He likes to travel. 
because third house shows all these significations. So the main focus of that native in his life would be on third house. Now, if we move to fourth house, fourth house has lot of significations. So this person who has Jupiter in his fourth house, irrespective of any sign, he would he would be he would be a very emotional person because fourth house relates to your mother. So if Jiva Karka is placed in the fourth house, he is a very emotional person. He is always concerned about about his family because fourth house is his family where all the family members live together. Fourth house is education also. So the prime focus of that native would be on his family, on his education and he would be a very caring person. Now if Jupiter is placed in fifth house irrespective of any sign, the main concern of this native would be his children. He will be very much worried about his children or he will always think how my children will get settled in the life. Lot of other significations also are there. But I am just sharing with you the technique of this uh, Jeeva Karka Jupiter. So with this technique you can 100% make lot of predictions. When Jupiter is placed in the 5th house, 5th house represents the past karma, 5th house represents the luck, the luck of of the native fifth house represents relationships love relationships fifth house represents education higher education lot of predictions can be made here but i am taking only one or two things in the consideration if jupiter is placed in the sixth house sixth house is a very prominent house and if when jupiter is placed here the person is always concerned about how to overcome his enemies because sixth house is the house of enemies. So if Jeev Karka comes and place, gets placed in sixth house, he will be more focused on this and he will be more focused on how easily he can get loans in his life because sixth house also signifies loans. And sixth house is accidents. These things we are not taking into consideration. If Jupiter is placed in seventh house in any chart, male or female, that means this person is inclined towards opposite sex because seventh house signifies opposite sex. If it is a male chart, he will be attracted towards females. If it is a female chart, she will be attracted to work toward towards males. Seventh house also signifies enjoyment. So this person, this native, the main focus would be on enjoyment in his life. So if Jupiter is placed in the eighth house, this person is a research oriented person. He always likes to research on different different things. This is his habit and this is the prime focus of the native whose Jupiter is placed in the 8th house, lot of other predictions also can be done. I am just helping and sharing you the technique. I am just helping you with the technique. So with this technique, you can make lot of predictions. So if Jupiter is placed in the 9th house, so this is the house of religion. This is the house of your family values so this person will be more inclined towards religion towards his family values so this would be the prime focus of his life if jupiter is placed in the 10th house so this person is always focused this uh, if jupiter is placed in the 10th house the main focus of this native would be how to start his own business, his own profession because 10th house is the house of profession, 10th house is the house of father as well. So these things we are not taking into consideration right now. I am just giving you one or two simple simple examples. If Jupiter is placed in 11th house, so 11th house is the house of gains, 11th house is the house of friends, so the main focus of that native will surely be on these things. If Jupiter is placed in the 12th house, 
Twelfth house is the house of disease. Twelfth house is the house of travel. Twelfth house is the house of losses. So this Jupiter, this Jivakarka will mainly focus that he should not get sick or he should not be hospitalized and he would also focus on how to travel and earn money because 12th house is the house of travel also. So in different different houses I have given you one or two predictions but lot of predictions can be done according to the significations of the houses and if Jeevakarka is placed there he mainly focuses or if it is a female chart she mainly focuses in that particular house only in the significations of that particular house so Jeevakarka Jupiter wherever it is placed in the chart according to the Lagna then you can easily predict about the native that your main focus of your life would be this particular area so that's all for today in the next coming videos I'll share some combinations of Mercury and Ketu and it's a very very important combination as I have shared in the last video about Mars and Mercury I'll share some other combinations of Mercury and Ketu thank you very much have a nice day